All right, welcome hockey fans to the Whitney Forum for tonight's SJHL Hockey Action. I'm Darnell Duff bringing you another episode of Creighton Furniture Bomber Hockey on 1029 CFAR and FlynnFlawnOnline.com. Tonight it's going to be the Flynn Flon Bombers and the LaRange Ice Wolves to cap off a home and home series. Okay, here comes a three on two for the Ice Wolves, shot by Shatler. Nice save by Newton. You know, Flynn Flaw tried to dump it in there. They weren't ready for that. Good chance, but nice save there by Newton early on. Lavely, Zimmer, and MP are your forwards for the Bombers right now. 18-23 left in the third period. 2-0 remains the score. Puck just stays in. Here comes Lavely, number 17, takes the shot. He scores! Lavely for the Bombers. Left wide open in the slot. He made no doubt about that one. Sniping it past Chris Joyce. And just like that, as I say, the LaRange Ice Wolves are doing everything they needed to so far to stay in this game. They give up a wide open opportunity to Lavely. Lavely does the rest. Bombers 3, LaRange 0. Jason Lavely scores the goal for the Bombers. 3 0, 18 5 left in the third period of play. Like I said, Bombers tried to improve 17 and 3 in their last 20 and 12 of their last 13. Nice pass to Shemlansky from Lesko, shot by Shemlansky. Easy save there by Joyce. A little bit of a snow in the face there for Mitch Foyle, but no worse for wear. Two shots for the Bombers. They're running at a 50% clip right now in this third period. Lesko has the puck. Reynolds playing nice defense right now as the Laurent Ice Wolves have a tall task now. Down 3-0. The Bombers are 14-2-0-1 after leading after two periods, and that's indeed what they had today. Lesko puts the puck down low, picked off by Blackery. It gets out. Lamoth with a head, with a head of steam can't pick it up though. Masawan puts it down, and here's Lesko. Pass it up to Shimlansky. He's going to pass the puck. Try to find Foyle anyways. Can't. Lamoth is there. Puck goes in the middle. Here, here's number 22. Shatler two on two. He's with Lamoth. Takes the shot. Goes wide of the net. Lamoth is right there. He's got Blackery with him. He skates to the middle. Loses the puck. Shimlansky puts it down low to Saint Ange. Saint Ange has that nice assist earlier to Reitmeyer earlier in the third period. First period, rather. Wilson has the puck. Tries to get the point. Will indeed. Shot by Leonidas. A little bit of a hop over Chris Joyce's stick. St. Ange keeps it down low. Go, finds Reitmeyer. That combination is working really nice between Reitmeyer and number 15, Christian St. Ange right now. Leonidas has the puck. He's going to put the deep back end into the zone. Bush is there. Reitmeyer is going to go hard on Bush. Keep the puck in temporarily. Nice play there in front. Two on one. Shot! Wide of the net, another shot wide of the net there. Great offensive pressure there by the Bombers. And, you know, LaRange just doesn't seem to have the intensity they need right now to get back in this game, Raph. And LaRange is just, they're going to ice that puck. They are not ready to play right now. A sloppy three minutes and 45 seconds in this third period. 3 nothing for the Bombers. We'll take a little bit of a break and we'll be back. You're listening to Creighton Furniture Bomber Hockey on 1029 CFAR and FlynnFlawnOnline.com. Welcome back to the Whitney Forum. LaRange Ice Wolves, Flynn Flom, Bombers. Quick shot there by Painshaw. Nice save there by Newton. He's had three shots in the third period. He's been 100%, but more importantly, he's been 100% the entire game. The LaRange Ice Wolves have lost four of their last five, and that could go to five of their last six if they do not pick it up here. Porter has the puck down low. He's getting a nice pass there. Number 19, Porter gets it to the point to Reynolds. Reynolds with the shot. Nice save there by Boot. Newton off the glove. There's Tyson Empey. Passes up to Lavely. Right back to Empey. Cross to Zimmer. They enter the zone. Zimmer. Pass to Masson. Masson's going to take the shot off a stick. Up over the net. To the netting. 15-12 left in the game clock. Bombers 3. LaRange Ice Wolves 0. Leonidas right back to Smith. A lot happening right here for the Bombers, but they have not been able to get more than two shots on any power play today. Smith has the puck, goes down low to Switzer. Switzer in the middle, takes the shot. Saved by Joyce. Switzer gets the puck down low again. Has Kosher wide open in front. Will not pass it to him temporarily, and it was finally gets it to Kosher. Number 27, Kosher across to Smith. Smith with the shot. Save, another shot. It's game. Wins from Bombers. Joel Kosher buries the rebound. Chris Joyce just... He didn't even have a chance there. Twin Flom Bombers, like I said, they would have loved to score another goal to open up the lead even more than they did, and they did that just indeed. Kosher, it wasn't the prettiest goal the Bombers have scored this year, but it's goal nonetheless, and they take a 4 nothing lead. Have a fight. It's going to be Empey, and it looks like number 10, Lamoth. Big right-hander there by Empey. Right back to Lamoth. This is a big-time fight. Lamoth and Empey, a couple of big-time right hands. Both these guys are going to go off, but they're not going off without a fight. Empey puts Lamoth to the ice. 
And it just seems that the Flim Flam Bombers are winning in every aspect of this game. Lamont and MP still throwing punches when they're on the ice. That's where the referees, or the lines did rather, were used very nicely. Yeah, MP was shaking his gloves for about five seconds. He wanted Lamont one on one. He got him. He put him down on his keister. Won the fight. Bombers winning 4 nothing, and they're on an arc of beverages. Power play. The Flint Flam Bombers will only play one more game at home in January, and that's going to come against the LaRange Ice Wolves on January 30th. Zimmer from the point. Joyce did not see it. Luckily, that wasn't on the net, or it would have been the fifth goal for the Bombers. Switzer has the puck. Has Smith at the half boards. Switzer's going to keep the puck. Finally, he's going to get it to Smith. Smith at the hash marks. Takes the shot. Saved by Joyce. Rebound. He scores. Brandon Switzer. You know, just as I said, Joyce's best point was probably his glove hand. He wasn't able to handle that state shot there for Smith. Switzer was there. Switzer got the goal. 5 nothing for the Bombers. Another Pepsi power play for the Bombers. You know, I said they haven't been producing very well over the last month, month and a half. All of a sudden, they have two power play goals in about five minutes. Welcome back to the Whitney 4-4. Four Creighton Furniture, Bomber Hockey on 102.9 CFAR and FlynnFlonOnline.com. The Flynn Flon Bombers currently lead 5 to nothing over the LaRange Ice Wolves, looking to complete a home-and-home -home sweep over the Ice Wolves, entering a very tough four-game in five-night stretch next week, beginning on this upcoming Tuesday against the Nippon Hawks. Wednesday, they're in Notre Dame. Friday, they're in Estevan. And rounding it up one week from now against the Weyburn Red Wings and Raphael Soray will be with the Flin Flon Bombers on that entire trip covering the Bombers. And it's going to be a very exciting week if you're a Bomber fan. That's going to do it for us here from the Whitney Forum. Beautiful Flin Flon historic arena. Darnell Duff, Raphael Soray. You've been listening to Creighton Furniture, Bomber Hockey on 1029 CFAR and FlinFlonOnline.com. Have a great night.